was Project Fireball. The Allied forces called them Foo Fighters. The Fireballs were developed in Vienna Neustadt, a small town near Vienna, under the technical group of the SS. Here is a photograph of the Fireballs in flight. These were radio controlled with no people on board. They were also called Flying Turtles, and due to certain new fuel combinations, they emitted a strong light. to disrupt the ignition systems of enemy aircraft. This fits in with numerous reports of power failures associated with UFO sightings, including the New York blackout of the 60s. Next we have a drawing indicating the relationship between the Earth's magnetic force, seen here with the North and South Pole, and the electromagnetic field around the flying saucer. This is a list of 261 flying saucers, including three Honeyboo models and 84 Vrills. These were built towards the end of World War II. As well as this, there was some meter file 7. The Honeyboo had a diameter of 25 meters. The development and construction of these flying machines created the most top secret documents and the most top secret projects of the Second World War. The engine of the Honeyboo was the Kola Takionata electrogravitation motor in combination with a Fundograph belt generator. Most of the photographs are of the Honeyboo 2. Here we see the rooms inside the Honeyboo. drawings we can imagine what it would have looked like inside a German flying saucer. Markers here are indicating guns on this saucer. These are photographs of the Honeyboo 2, probably taken during a test flight. We can see a gun on the bottom of this Honeyboo, and what may be a symbol of the Third Reich. What a terrifying impact this must have made on people seeing the craft at a low altitude. on the bottom of a honeyboo. Here again are construction plans from the honeyboo series, indicating that this mystery was once a reality. This gives weight to the suggestion that international oil companies who control the majority of world commerce may have something to gain by the continuing suppression of the technology which keeps these massive machines silently in the air. One explanation for the emission of light commonly associated with the night sightings of UFOs is that one method of propulsion is an intense cathode ray emission, creating a vacuum into which the craft moves. This form of propulsion is compatible with the misty impressions of this photograph.
The gun is clearly visible under this craft. 